This is the east elevation. Did we keep dying, Zach? It did. We're back up. Okay. Sorry. Uh, that's the side that's going to be facing uh, the river. And this is the south side. This will be the side that's facing uh, Pine Street. Thank you. <laughs> so with the colors, did you mention the colors yet? I didn't mention the colors. So the, the Yemens worked with members of the Landmark Society to, to choose the colors so that they were in keeping with the historically historical. correct and pleasing. I think they came out great. I love, yeah. I love those colors. Yeah, he's good. Sure. Back there. Mm -hmm. The uh, the other big project was the uh, Kiara Opera House that was approved for to go forward, and uh, I have a so it does look like they've got they do have more than one apartment on that third floor, right? Yeah. right? Is it three? Um, not two sure. little ones three and three. Two, three, three. So there's one giant one and two little ones upstairs at third floor. Yeah. They have to maintain the stage, so I guess that's going to be one big bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the I believe that's the front facade, and they're going to put the uh, the balcony back in place so, yeah. and get the windows fixed. So these are both great projects for the yeah. village. Yeah. And then uh, talking with. Uh, Stephanie Fox and uh, Jim, in regards to the freight station, uh, for of our uh, those that are interested, the cobblestone uh, parking lot that is there in the freight station is remaining uh, to help maintain the historical nature. So I know that will make that will help retain uh, the character of that building. So. Uh, I'd like to commend uh, the CBA, the Planning Board, uh, and Craig uh, for really uh, um, going through the, the detail work to, to make these projects, uh, make sure that they're successful. Any other discussion on codes? Thank you, Pat. Yeah, great job. Thank, thank you. you for, uh, great job, Bill. Thanks for stealing those. Yeah, I, I, I do have to give them back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I make a motion that we accept the codes report as written. All second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yes. All right, streets and parks. Do you want us to read through it, Mike, or you want to? No, you guys do what you want to do. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, I just had a quick, who determines which uh, of the trees come down? I'm going around right now. Of course, I've got a lot of residents that ask for trees to come down, mm -hmm. trees to be trimmed, trees they don't want cut down. So right now it's, you know, that situation. We, we did that pretty much, you know, this spring, okay. through the winter and this spring. I got a question for you. The county, I do believe, just voted to make Amnesty Day, not Amnesty Day, but it's all the time and it's a credit. How is that going to work? for village residents. How are we going to do that? If they, they voted not to have it, right? No, they voted to have it. Oh, well, what they're yeah. doing is it's, you can, the municipality can take stuff up any time. Right. You I think we have a credit salary. of like $1,080. $1,600, right. I think, and it comes out to 30 tons. At 30 $65. Tons. Yeah. So how are we going to handle that as the village? You got an idea? I hadn't really thought about it anymore. I mean, the county's not going to do it anymore, but they're letting us continue to do it with a credit. Is yeah. It? Yeah. So, I mean, we can do another one if we've got a credit up there. As far as that goes. So, Maybe you want in the fall? Yeah, which would probably be a good idea so we don't get so much in the spring. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Good idea. And it's starting to pile up again over in my yard anyway, because obviously we pick up the stuff that gets left out. Have we been cracking down on that yet? Um, you still been too much of a good cop? Yeah, because it seems that <clears throat> I always get hollered at no matter what I say. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we just, you know, it, it, it's just worth it to pick it up and not go through some of the aggravation. So. And as 
long as it, if like, you're okay and there's not, if there's a particular I, place that's abusing it though, that's not okay. Yeah. Now, now, I did stop at one on Grove Street and told her that I thought they were abusing it just a little bit too much, but here again I gotta be careful because everybody takes what you say the wrong way. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, we're waiving the policy for them. They ought to be happy. I know. Um, but I don't want any more of the, the, this being said that I'm threatening them or anything yeah. like that. But it, it seems that no matter how I approach it, it gets interpreted the wrong way. So I think at this point we're not overloaded with it. There's something out there, you know, quite often right now. But let's just continue to pick it up. The best I think the answer then is when you've got somewhere that needs to be talked to come to us yeah yeah we'll we'll have uh, either we'll have some I, I think just a letter from the office even you know and that way it's it's not like it's one person's vendetta against another person it's well I, I found if I take somebody else with me too right that's standing over my, my shoulder you know in the background listening that it's not quite this I'd be right. more than happy to go with you I usually take, you know, Nick will usually go back with me or I'll take the other guy with me. So that's what we've gotten down to, you know. Right. Instead of me seeing it and stopping and saying something and it getting misinterpreted. So. Okay. All right. Oh, you can go. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Greg. <laughs> you are released. Uh, the only other thing I wanted to mention, is, is if you notice, we did the North Pole and North Portland Street, and I'm sure you'll see the bill. Paving and grinding has gone up. Yes, it has. I just noticed that. Why is that? The cost of materials? So, we've, uh, I think I figured I'd say we've got 17000 left to do just the fire station. And then, and then we're done for the year? We're cutting it close. And it doesn't look like you're going to get, as of right now, the state says the amount we're getting is the same as it was last year. But it doesn't look like you're going to get it next year, so we want to be thinking about that too. Down the road. All right, that's actually mm -hmm. something we'll be talking about budget time, I guess. Mm -hmm. At least the county only cut us seventy thousand dollars a year in sales tax. So seems like we might get hit kind of hard next year with some of the stuff. <clears throat> All righty. Um, I didn't want to just because. Uh, Mike put it in there, uh, a thank you to the town of Homer, town of Portlandville, town of Scott, town of Virgil, town of Solon, town of Truxton, and town of Preble. Uh, you know, we talk about shared services and working together. All those towns came together uh, to help us with our, uh, our paving, which allowed us to do it. How quickly did you do that, Mike? We, we did that. Uh, Cortland Street, we did we did it one day. Yeah, that was yeah. great. Yeah. So because of all those working together, mm -hmm. we were able to do it quickly. And uh, you know, we talk about shared services. Well, we're doing it. So. And you kept. Your, did you keep track? Did you keep track of what we get as well as what we give, or just you keep track of both? Oh, oh, oh. Thank you. That's excellent. I appreciate that. We right. we we have been to the town of Tyler already and helped day with a sweeper. I mean, this is what happens between yeah. all of us. You know, we're all trying to help each other. So. I know. I know. <clears throat> all right, the next report here. Oh, was, yeah, I mean, this report. This report. Nick, just a quick mention. Nick was great help on the line event system. So Was he? Well, I can tell you, too. I mean, he did the tailpipes, and, you know, he was there pretty much keep it up on what was going on when neither of us could be there, so that's <clears> excellent. <throat> Thank you, Nick. Nick, he's watching. That's why I say that that way. You know he's watching the video. Yeah, he's watching, I'm sure. I'm watching him. Nick. Uh, did, uh, did, oh, well, I guess we'll get to it in the fire report. I make a motion to accept the DPW report as written. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, unanimous. All right, Except you talk about it in the fire report. That's right. We'll wait on farmer's market until Kristen comes after the farmer's market. Uh, all right, fire report. Okay, that answers my question.
question about when they were coming up to fix the, the ladder yes. truck. Yeah. And what we're looking at there is that we had to wait and make sure that they're bringing everything that they may possibly need. Right. So whatever would have to be fixed. But if there's only two that need to be fixed, that's all we're going to fix. Right. And they'll check the rest of the stuff out. But we wanted to make sure that instead of having them come up and say, oh, you know what, this one's bad too. Bring yeah. everything you need. Yeah. No, that's good. All right. Let's sure. talk about this issue with the uh, banners. See, you got it on your report. Yeah, there's getting to be more and more of them, and they just show up. Um, this last week we had one that we had put up, and then they said this one's got to come down because this event is first, and we need to get some sort of schedule or something along that line. In fact, the last one, because the ladder truck is out, we couldn't put up, so it might get um, Steve. Stevie Defoe with his tree truck to come and switch them out, but to keep going, I mean, there's more than there ever used to be. It seems like there's one for about everything going on. So, um, and is the village, or is each group getting an actual permit to put them up? Don, I see you pounding your finger. That's Dan. 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 They get approved. I don't have anything of a permit. There is no banner permit as of such, but they do, they must seek approval. So if your banners that aren't approved are going up, which it could be a conversation, but the permits also would help. Um, you could certainly check with us and see if something's been approved. I believe that there's a New York State, because it's across the state highway, that the state is either supposed to give a permit or approval, one or the other, for them to be hung up. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it was That's what I was wondering. I think the, the village, I think, has an annual permit. It used right. to get an annual permit. Yeah, I think we have an annual thing with them, agreement with them, and then I think that we need to start Charging a twenty-five dollar fee and scheduling it on a calendar. Stevie charges 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 fifty dollars to if, put it up. If I have to use Steve, it's fifty dollars. So. Um, ways to permit the. Uh, you can do a lot. I mean, it'd so be nice to say yourself, we could do them, but then all you got some money set so aside. Um, you know, our our guys are doing it. They're volunteering their time. Do they mind doing it? No, they don't mind doing it, but it's just a matter of people, well, when are you going to put it up? When are you going to put it up? Or that one can come down, that one can come down. You know, that event's over, and the, the one that right. we had, the ladder truck was broke, and we said, we can't get it down until that's fixed. <coughs> so, you know, we get into that kind of thing. And okay. then in the meantime, they bring the other one in when we put the other one up, and they said, well, Holiday and Homer's first, so take the other one down, put this one up, and... So, if there's some way we can try to schedule or do something, to my thought is kind of everything goes to that Dan. Process. We approve, the board approves them, um, $50 fee, and then Dan decides when they go up and down based on his calendar. Yeah, I mean, I think Dan should be, the village office should be the point of contact. The fire yep. department shouldn't have to deal with this at no. all. No, you could send them our way. Any, anybody who's getting out of line, because it's going to be a, I mean... Well, nobody's we really getting out of line, it's no. just that there's becoming more and more of them. You say, I know, you say more and yeah. more, but there's only so many banners that have been approved even this year. So if people are just showing up to put things up, then that... Oh, see, I didn't know that they yeah. had to be approved by yeah. the user. Sure. Yeah, we, we need to, we need to we did that approve them. We did what we did, we did for one of them, right. and the other ones were... So I think they just assume that we put them up, you know, people ask, okay, who put that one up? Oh, the fire department did, so they bring them to us. And I'm not sure okay. that they've got, I think there's three or four of them sitting down there now in the fire station. Yeah. Are there really? <laughs> yes. <coughs> we need a motion to really That have this either been up or down or are yeah, waiting. Have okay, yeah, so, yeah, so Dan's going to coordinate, B is $50, and the going up and coming down is going to be based on the calendar, not on people's gut. And then any any banners that go up, we just we have to. Shouldn't have any more take precedence though, because it's been going on so many years. And work around that one. Well, I think we need to take a look at what's. Well, what's what, is there a competition what, what's, between? What's the competition? What else? The is other one. Yeah, to access to that kind of thing. Yeah. We just took down. We just took down one that wasn't really due till July twenty six. We put up the one for that's coming up that you guys just talked about. 
Holiday and Homer. Holiday and Homer, but the, the access to independence, July 26th, they, boy, they hounded me. They hounded me. They wanted that up right away. And I kept they got approval. They got approval. Yeah, they, they, they still still so part of the approval process is going to be start date, end date, and that's it. And that's the way it's going to be. Well, then if you know what events are coming and what yeah. banners are there, you can kind of say, okay, yours can only be here for a week because yeah. there's another well, one Well, I think we should set a limit to, right now, but set a precedence for <clears throat> how long that banner needs to be up before the bad actually happens. It's usually been a week. That's what but I've seen the holiday and homework went up for weeks. Before that's never been approved as far as I know. Time, 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 time out, please. Part of that time thing and the timing is... If we know that the scheduling, it's easier for the fire department to take one down, put one up at the same time. Okay. So yeah. in that case, one banner might be up for, say, four weeks just because of the scheduling of taking one down, putting it up. That way they're not up and down, up and down. Uh, I think how we fix this is we will write up a policy on how we do it. Uh, Dan can gin something up. We'll approve it, and then we'll outline, we'll solve it then instead of having to... I mean, we've got all pretty much essentially what we need right now uh, for the policy, and then let him clean it up, and then we'll approve it, and we'll have a policy in place. But I think in the short term, everything goes through the village office and Dan, and they stop bothering the, the firemen. Yeah. Um, and, you know, in these events that they know well ahead of time when they're when the event is, they'll jump in and get the permit, you know, and schedule their time. So it shouldn't be an issue. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and that might be a good project for the intern to do. That's to good. Create that document. We're not trying to be difficult about it, but it just no. needs to be. You guys shouldn't no. be getting bad. No one should be getting bad. Oh, I'm sorry, you didn't call. No, you just talking about this. You can't even think about it because yeah. we've always just sure, they brought them in and we've I appreciate you know, done it, and it's yeah. just that. So you're saying I can come down with a banner that says I'm pretty awesome and you guys just put it up for me? <laughs> well, no, it wouldn't be quite like that. It would be, a, it would be up for one day. There's typically, uh -oh. the, you know, it's an event, but they've called and, I don't know, well, how come it's not up yet or they, how come it's they, still up? Um, yeah, so we'll just root them off, route them off your Dan and uh, that would be helpful. Yeah, get them out of your hair. Perfect. We, we were all right. It was moving right along until... Uh, until we had this issue with the ladder truck, or, you know, right. things were moving along. But the so issue with the ladder truck, then I had to pull Steve in to put the changes yeah. on this, what happened here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, well, that's I would entertain a motion to approve the fire report. I'll make that motion. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Just uh, one quick comment. Uh, if you haven't been down to see it, and again, I think I've said this before, but... Um, Thanks from me specifically for the village taking the bite for the cost of the exhaust system. Uh, that's in. It's all being used. The guys are hooking it up. Uh, it works well. Um, it makes a little bit of noise when it's running, but uh, I think it's doing the job that uh, we asked it to do. Uh, and we should be, and I talked to um, Pat about this, there should be a credit uh, coming uh, for that. I don't have the exact amount yet, or um, the guy had offered a couple of different ways that we might be able to do that, which I'd have to let you guys decide, but we had to make some changes uh, as they were putting the system in, because when they just look at it, it looked like it was going to be able to do this, and we had to take some things out and change them out, uh, so that reduced the cost a little bit. Um, but they've got to go through all the stuff that was sent back and then what we got. But he says there'll be a credit uh, for what's there. So we should see some money back. And you know, there's a couple of different ways we might be able to use that money. So okay. once I have an exact number, I'll let you guys know that. Um, unless anybody's got any questions. We're running about two calls a day on average. Mostly EMS? Uh, well, let me see here. I can tell you. The village is taking about half of them, everything that we run. Uh, and it's not quite half EMS. So it's a little less than 50% um, is EMS in the village. 
The majority of the calls in the village are in a mess. Medical assist. Were you guys called for assistance with the vehicle fire in 81 last weekend? Uh, one that there? was non-existent or? No, there was one that was fully engulfed in flames when I drove by. Whereabouts? <laughs> Just between Cortland and uh, oh, Palm yeah. Hill, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Northbound. Yeah, right on the curve down yeah. there. Yeah. Yep. That, was, that scared the hell out of me when I drove by. I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, that, that was ours. It was just in our district, otherwise the city would have had it. But. All right, please report. And the chief likes us to just read it. Yeah, fly it under the radar. <laughs> So did you get the bike yet, Chief? Yes, it's actually down getting... Detailed? Well, I don't know the detail, but I'm getting it, I don't know, better work, uh, some maintenance uh. done to it for the service. I'll put a plug in while everybody's reading the uh, bike rodeo. It was July 14th. Kids age 5 to 12. Anything else about that, Chief? Just uh, giving away helmets. There's an mm -hmm. obstacle course. Three, three, helmets. Helmets. Three, three helmets. Three helmets, <laughs> yeah. Do you have extra, extra large? What's that? <laughs> I don't know about that size. <laughs> Chief is uh, going to check on the uh, uh, surveillance cameras once a month. Is that going to be adequate, or you're going to wait to you hear a report or see something and then check it? But just once a month, and yeah, just check, check it. make sure so you don't have to go every week or anything. Yeah, just want to make sure check once a month, make sure they're up and going. Right. And then if we get some sort of incident, we need to look yeah. at it. Bam. Yeah. All right. Great. <laughs> Make a motion that we uh, accept the report as written. I have a second. Uh, I just had one last question, Chief. The congregational church race on the twenty-first. Yep. Do they have any idea about how many people they're expecting? No. Will that just shut down one lane? Yeah, they usually keep. They'll probably try to keep it over the shoulder. Okay. Under all the like I said, my report, the sheriff's department's going to give us a hand um, up by the bridge. Okay. And uh, just to try to keep traffic slow. Thanks, Chief. Uh, One thing I'd like to mention there before we move my notice at the end there, um, Robert and uh, Darlene Weaver donated a shed to the police department. Yes. Uh, just like to thank them, thank Mike and his crew. They're uh, in a ton of trouble for getting it down here, and Mike's guys uh, went through it. And, Thank you to Robert and Darlene Lieber for that. Did the scouts come paint it yet? Nope. I think Lazy. No, I gotta get the weather. Oh, it's the weather. Jeez. It's too hot. It's uh, too hot or you know, get these well, some are right camp. So. Oh yeah. Camp. That sounds fun right now. It's real. Anything else you want to share, Chief? Let's go ahead, sir. Yeah. <laughs> We already got a motion and a second. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Recreation. Mr. Zach. Mm -hmm. I know we're missing a uh, concert right now that uh, many of us would like to be at. Absolutely. You think we're going to be that guy that quickly? We still got All right, we'll go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go quick. I'll go quick then. Uh, yep. Soccer. The highlights. Soccer is uh, going really well. A little rough start because of uh, you know that crazy rain thunderstorm we had last week or the week before. Right. Um, I think we've had three or four cancellations already in the first three weeks. So <coughs> we to do some rescheduling. Um, ordered a bunch of new soccer balls, size three, for the little kids. Um, that was a, so that was a cost I wasn't expecting. Uh, Babe Ruth is going well. 
um, Tammy, that's the mobile arts and craft band, has got tons of kids. Does she? Uh, yeah, and I think, I don't, I don't know what the difference is, but maybe it's because they're not running the, the camp, the art camp at the school this year. Oh. So maybe there's some overflow there, but I've stopped by a couple times and the kids are loving it. My grandkids have gone several times, they love it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I spoke to somebody who I went to school with and who was uh, almost 30 and she was there when she was a kid, so she's been doing it a very long time. I'm be 43 and she was, she was doing kid. it. That's awesome. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> um, concerts obviously going on. Uh, old timers we did in the center. That was great. Um, and then last week was Casey Max and the Cats on the fourth, which was a little worried about the uh, people showing up. And we had 50 people, I think, on a uh, on the fourth of July when the streets wow. were empty. It was pretty decent. Yeah. So that was good. Yeah. Your mission is that you don't think we should do it on the 4th of July next I don't year? think so. I think it's on the Wednesday. It makes sense, yeah. but you won't be. It probably yeah. won't be around for, yeah, I don't know how many how many more years and we'll hit that again. Yeah, but I don't know what the cycle is. I don't understand like. calendars or time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everything else is good. Um, the uh, the swing set, is. are we going to talk about that? We're going to vote on it, but okay. uh, you want to talk about it? Well, I haven't done any research on it yet. Um, I haven't actually done anything since I saw your email, so. So I think, I mean, I think they had a swing picked out that, like, right. you know, I think that they were probably happy with. I, I think all we really needed to figure out is what mounting hardware we need. Right. So pretty much chains and bolts and stuff. Right. That, that all comes with it. It all comes I, with the swing? I researched it a little bit, like I said. Oh, I did. Thanks, oh, I, I did bring it with me. It, yeah, I mean, it looks like it goes by the specs we need to go by, and I'm definitely in favor of it. So. Oh, yeah. My only concern is that there was a weight limit on it, and you get some of the bigger kids well, horsing around down there, and they sit on it and it breaks. That's why you have three different size swings over there. Yeah, okay. there's a weight limit on it, and we just need to let them know it's the resident here that wanted to do this. Or no. <clears throat> I think it's a really good idea. We just need to make sure they know that I'm sure it's going to get used by other by other uh, kids. I think that they actually in their email indicated they thought uh, that they had seen them other places or knew them other places and they were really popular with, yeah, with any yeah. kids. So it, it, it does does seem to be a popular thing, so I'm definitely in favor of it. You know, not only does it help them but it helps yeah. save us a little bit of money. So Yeah, no, I think it's I think it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. We could probably see if we could get it at a cheaper price. You know, okay. It, it appears this is the list price. Right. You know, if you want me to check and see if, uh, you know, they'll sell it to us at a cheaper price, might be a good idea. That'd be great. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, we could save the tax money anyway, I'm sure. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah, I have all the information on that. Perfect. And take the time to do that. All right, I would entertain a motion on uh, the rec report. I'll make a motion to move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Okay. Water billing. Wait, Kristen. on that water leak at the corner of Grove and 281, that's good. We got that patch today too, if you happen to notice somebody. Oh, did you patch it today? Yeah, I got patched and the cones are down. <clears throat> Alright. I'll make a motion to accept the water report as written. Water report. Uh, second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yes. I included the sewer, right? Yeah. yeah. That's uh, all for the reports for now. So one of the things that uh, we just started this meeting and we're going to be doing from now on is uh, posting all of the department reports along with the agenda on the village website so that people can download them. You can go get them when you get home. You can get them before you come to the meeting. You can look at them on your phone while you're here. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's good. So, uh, so that's because uh, the park heads are getting their reports in <coughs> earlier, and then Dan's able to compile them and put them up there. So that's, that's a good new 
thing so everybody can see what's going on. All right, privilege of the floor. What are you, Colonel? You got anything to say, eh? Well, you yell for something? I got my canoes all lined up. I'm just waiting for you guys to finish the. We're released. Off. You can go. You can jump <laughs> yeah. in there. I'll give you a push. <laughs> Just another thing, uh, to show up at Hobo's Tuesday night, I'll buy you a prime rib dinner. Oh my goodness. I will be there on Tuesday night. <laughs> but I won't be able to eat much. That's uh but I'll be there. Why is that? Well I had a, I had gastric bypass, so I can only eat like well, eat about a, a cup bit. of food. A little bit. I'll eat a cup I'll eat a little bit of good food. Okay. But yes, I will be there. <laughs> You'll get out cheap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? Oh. Yes, sir. In regards to the uh Recreation report. I'd spoken to Mike three or four weeks ago about putting in a uh, bicycle only air filling station because he's probably tired of me filling up behind the fire station. And it should be on one of the buildings that's accessible to all ages of children and or adults that are on bicycles only, not someplace where people are going to be able to pull cars, trucks, tractors in. And put air on their bicycles for free. And I think there's probably some money from some older bicycle riders like myself for the project. And That's a great idea. Someplace down by the Rick building probably. Yeah, just some places it would be on. for bikes only and kind of get the word out that, you know, in case the are going to hold down or flat tire that there's a place to go. I like it. So all we need would be, uh, just need the yeah, like a small compressor, right? Yeah, Even like a, one of those pancake ones would be big enough. Yeah, something like that. And I know Zach wouldn't mind having a compressor in the rec office. <laughs> Actually, that would probably be better, you know, if we did a small compressor sure. over there. Yeah, and then and just you, pump it going on from 6 in the morning until yeah. you, know, you put on a timer and it's just not available after 10 o'clock at night. That's a very good idea, too. Right. Um, something like you see at Stewart's on the wall. Or, uh, yeah. That's a great project for that. <laughs> He's got nothing going on in the middle of summer. <laughs> nothing, no. And then, and then the other thing, I'm, so now everyone's talking about Airbnbs. It's obviously not in the old village code. In the village code right now, there's the ability to have a bed and breakfast if it's owner-occupied with up to four rooms in any of the districts. It doesn't exempt R1, R2, general business, central business, and or industrial. Additionally, Boarding houses are recognized by the state of New York. Boarding houses have a little different compliance. A boarding house is a place where there's people, individuals unrelated, living in individual sleeping rooms without <coughs> private baths. Those require six rooms per bathroom, no more than. So there's a little difference between a bed and breakfast, a boarding house, and now an Airbnb. It's not going to be resolved tonight or in the near future, but as the new code is rewritten, I think the board needs to think about how they want to differentiate between perhaps a boutique in motel, hotel, in the business district versus an R2 zone versus an R1 zone versus an industrial zone. So It's a good work session. Airbnb, <coughs> Airbnb is set up so you can fee... I spoke to the county, they want to get their skin of the occupancy tax, which is 5%. I'm sure they and, do. And yeah. I would put it on the table right now. I think anybody that's running Airbnb, bed and breakfast, and or a boarding house for longer term people here in the village, maybe you should think about some sort of, there's a permit required for a, a bed and breakfast. I don't think there is one for the boarding house in what I looked at quickly tonight but maybe some sort of occupancy tax or an annual fee or a monthly fee because there's, according to the code now, every bed and breakfast is supposed to get an annual inspection by <coughs> Craig's office. So that's my 50 cents. Yeah, that's a good work profession topic. The uh, accounting, when they did that, they, they talk about Airbnbs <coughs> and then you can actually say, hey, you got to have, you can only have five in the village or every five houses could have one. You can't have them like a row. You can do a lot of three you can. But I mean, it, it's See, then you get kind of crazy because the whole concept of the Airbnb is that you, anybody can do it any time. 
sort of thing, and if maybe at one point you just happen to be going out of town for a while to rent your house. And one of the issues, and you could do that with, with your codes, but well, how would you like to have 10 houses in a row, all Airbnb every night? Uh, it's not like it turns them into frat houses. How do you know? There's nobody that lives yeah. there. They just come and go. I'm just saying, this, this is something to, to discuss. When we, right. when we do it in the work detail. section, yeah, there, yes. another village well, went through this. They had some issue with it, mm -hmm. what they thought. So I just have to remember the village name. And I think <coughs> we'll pick it up and we can look at it in the village sure. work session. Yeah. We should. I, I, from, from, sites, we should. from a personal standpoint, I just stayed in eight different Airbnbs, eight nights in a row in various parts of New England, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. <coughs> And I didn't see any incidents of that either in individual buildings, one of which was an apartment house, a couple single family homes, and a couple of lakeside properties. They were all different, they were all distinct, and I didn't see any of that. And, That's right. And they were all different. I was going to say, I've heard nothing but good things about Airbnb. Yeah. But there have been buildings in New York City which have been completely emptied out and turned into <coughs> Airbnb yeah. hotels. That's a whole, yeah, it's a whole different. That's a different area. Yeah. yeah. And then lastly, to that. follow up what you're talking about with Dan and the banners. Anybody that's ever put one up in the past should just get notification that there's going to be a little tighter policy so they're not, well, we've always done it this way, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good idea. Thank you. Thank you. Well, anybody online? There's people saying hi. Yeah. Nicola, no. Nick said you're welcome, but it's my job. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Combined Insurance says hello. All right. Old business, none. New business. Uh, approval of the adapted swing set to be installed <coughs> in the park. We've talked about it. Uh, yes, sir. Can I just, if, uh, at some point, can you move the one, or can I talk about the fire truck thing? I have another meeting at 7 o'clock, and I just want to be sure. You want to uh, J, J. move J? And I. Is it, wait, well now it's actually, it's actually I, yeah. Okay. All right, all right, troublemaker. Is Ooh, that, I. is this that top. another, that's an addition to the 150? This is from? because DASNY is not going to accept what we tell them the quote is for the old truck as part of the grant, so we just need to come up with that money, and then when we get the money for the old truck, they'll just go into the fire truck reserve. So... This doesn't affect the 150 that we have coming. No. That's what I thought. This is just something yeah. that is additional to that. Got it. Okay. Otherwise, I was going to say, where's that $75,000 going? So. No, the, no. Uh, when we got the estimate, it didn't yes. hit what we thought it was going to be, so they want this to supplement. Well, well no, it's no, because it's they, it's because, yeah, it because they can't, they don't. They you know, they're not going to take, we will sell this and get this money yeah. after the grant closes and we get our new truck. Right. So, so we're on our own with what we get for it. Yeah, afterwards. and whatever we get for it, we'll yeah. just put it we'll in we'll the just reserve fund. Yeah. Yeah. No okay. big deal. Yep. I'll make a motion to accept that. Accept Second. Item J. Okay, any discussion? No discussion. All in favor? Okay, we accept Thank that. Thank you item very item much. Item I. For changing that, gentlemen. I sure. appreciate that. Mm -hmm. You can skedaddle. Thanks. I'm off to another Can't meeting. Thanks, man. Let's go down to yes. the concert. No, I, I do have another meeting. I'll check for it. I'll check for it. Thank you. All right. Now we're back to the adaptive <laughs> swing set uh, approval. You did it. I would entertain a motion. I was going to say, I think uh, our, Mike can find a cheaper out for him to do that. I think it's the sure, up to 700 off. bucks. Yeah, I'll well, go there. You know, we're, we're not we're paying any money. money. We're not paying they're paying, for it. They're paying for it. Who's theirs? Resident. Uh, resident is paying for it. We're just you installing it. Do you read my emails? You don't send them to me, boss. Oh, I do. <laughs> just like I sent you a text last night, you don't respond until today. That's because now you don't have a charging machine. <laughs> The <laughs> <laughs> phone was being charged. Yeah, no, this is this yeah. is a residents who moved into the village. But I like the idea of him being able oh, to Oh, yeah, we can save him some money. money. That would be great. Yeah. Yeah. They're doing a nice thing. We should yeah. try to oh, get this thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. So, okay, I'm going to motion. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt it. Motion made. I'm going to second it. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.
All right, the next one is uh, approve a settlement for underpaid gross receipt tax owed by Verizon. So this is part of that uh, CompuTel thing that we signed up for where they look through all of our uh, contracts and uh, make sure that we're getting paid correctly um, with all the different uh, franchise fees and everything. And so this one, uh, yeah, we get uh, 2500 bucks out of it. Wow. Now, yeah. So it's free, it's like a contingency lawyer. So it's just free $2,500. So we just need to uh, approve it. I have a motion to approve it. This will go into the general fund. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, good, good. Uh, all the rest of the stuff through till H is, uh, well, that even H up till I. That's all just on the on the list. There's no back and Got it. Yep. All right. The next one is uh, approval of Kevin McMahon to be appointed as the new Village Code Enforcement Officer. So uh, I interviewed Kevin with Pat last week. He's great. Uh, he's been working with uh, Craig forever. There's going to be some overlap so that they, um, you know, maybe he. He's up to speed on everything when he takes over, and he would take over August 1st. I would entertain a motion. I'll make a motion. I'll second. Okay. All discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. The next one is the approval of Donna Cotis to be appointed to a deputy clerk treasurer. So Donna has been doing a great job, very helpful in the office, and we just wanted to make her a full-time deputy clerk treasurer. Motion. Yeah. I'll make the motion. I'll second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Uh, all right. This next one: approval to seek the services of a professional <laughs> engineer not to exceed seventy-five hundred dollars to study, report, and offer solutions for municipal parking within the village. So this is this came after the planning and zoning uh, meetings about the Yemen property and Renee's property and the fact that they're going to need parking and that the municipal parking lots that we have are kind of a, not a mess, but they need to be redefined, redefined better signage, um, and we need to see if we can squeeze some more spots in it. The comp plan has a completely different parking layout in that little uh, that whole section there uh, by Edgewood. Yeah. So they've got it, they've actually got it where it would add a, a third more spaces. I don't know if that's possible or if that's just somebody who drew a nice picture. So that's why we need an engineer to come in and tell us what's possible. So if you, yeah, if you look at the plans, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. This is off of our uh, village comprehensive plan. Which was passed in 2009. Nine, November 2009. So, so, yeah. So we've got a big parking issue in the village, and we've got to solve it, and this is the first step. I, I'm not entirely sure how much this uh, engineer will cost, but we, we set a high limit for it, and then we, yeah, we need to report. Mine, or no, we've got to find one. Or, yeah, we've got to find one. So, because we've got three municipal lots that... Uh, we need to be but we, at. And we may need to look at more, creating right. more parking. Right. Uh, one of the issues that was brought up in one of the ZBA meetings was, you know, we have the, uh, the area across from uh, uh, Pine Street, that's village lot, um, that could possibly be used as a municipal lot, but I think it's beyond our capabilities, we need to get a professional in there yeah. to help us out so we make sure we do this right. We right. got we're getting growth, which is what we need, it's yeah. which we what we want. This is a good yeah. problem to have. Correct. Uh, but the buildings that we have were not structured for the automobiles and the automobile traffic that we have in our, our hitting. Um, so I, yes, I uh, on the same topic with not having enough parking, the high school has volunteered to set up a bus for Holiday Homer for the um, shuttle. So they're, they're, they're going to do that for free. 
Free of charge. I reached out to us today. They've done that in years past? It didn't happen last year, though, did it? No. Okay, well, that's great. Uh, very much appreciate them doing that, because that didn't come up in uh, one of our many meetings that yeah. we just had with the shuttle. That's great. So I'll make a motion um, that we uh, seek the <coughs> services of a professional engineer which specializes in parking not to exceed $7,500. Second. I'm sorry. Discussion? How do we find it? Uh, I think we check with our trades and, and find out within there who who does this. We have professional engineers that might go. You might know somebody, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I was thinking about yeah. first. Oh, well, yeah, we definitely want someone that specializes in parking. Yeah. 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 Because that, you know, the, the ZBA had to authorize a variance for the two projects right. in order to make this happen. So it's not it's a problem that's coming our way and we need to address it. Now. If we have to build a parking garage, huh? Yeah, well, yeah, well, we're gonna that's why this is gonna be something that uh, it's a good problem to have, but it's a problem that's right. it needs to be solved. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. <coughs> all right. Uh, the next one. Uh, this is to approve Payment for members of the planning board, zoning board, and the rec committee, with a, each member receiving twenty-five dollars per meeting and the chairs receiving fifty dollars per meeting. So uh, it's getting a little harder to find people to serve on these boards. It's a lot of work. It's a time commitment, and I think this would uh, encourage more participation. So uh, it's pretty common practice. I'll make the motion. Too little, too little. I'll second. Discussion? And just so the public knows that we, as trustees who are involved with any of these, aren't getting the $25 so they know that. No, no, it's, it's just for Not Lulu's for us. Right. And I just want everybody <laughs> no. to make sure that they realize that. <laughs> Good point. Um, no. So we're not just trying to pat ourselves. We, we've been discussing this, and I've discussed this with the ZBA and the, the planning board and Joan Finch, who sits in on many, many other and we're one of the few ones that don't do that. Um, uh, so I definitely think this is uh, right. reasonable it's a good idea. and it's good. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Uh, the next one is to authorize me to negotiate with the county regarding the workers' comp issues that are going on, namely the fact that our workers' comp has gone from 70,000 two years ago to 100,000 this year. I'll make a motion for that. Second. Discussion? If we would join the consortium, because more people in there. Well, that was the idea. Yeah. Well, yeah. So he, he explains everything last night. Uh, we came, we went to the meeting uh, here. And Bob came. He did a good job of explaining it. Um, and we went through all this, and I could, there's like five pages of spreadsheets, I, and I can show you guys in a work session or later how they come up with everything. The one thing we couldn't get is, um, you know, it says, okay, the village is paying so much more than anyone else. I mean, we're paying the exact same amount as the, as the town of Portland. So why are we paying that much? Well, because we have so many people that are making workers' comp claims. So all I did was ask, all right, we need just, we just want to know who they are and what these claims are, how long they're going to go for, et cetera. They didn't have that. Uh, I don't think we've really ever gotten that consistently. And so uh, Bob said he was going to get it to me. And then the other question that came up um, last night was, how much money is in the reserve fund for this? <coughs> Not a lot. Very little uh, none. Uh, yeah, yeah, a couple hundred thousand dollars. And so even with this new plan, it's going to take three to four years for, for the workers' comp program through the county to become solvent, which is really not what you want to hear. They've got no, no, they've got no uh, <laughs> plans for you know buying people out 
you know, you hurt your arm, right? So they can't buy people out, and so the things go on forever. It's worse. They haven't been doing a good job of early intervention. Um, you know, getting someone to make sure they get the right treatment early, because you know, if you get hurt and you don't seek medical care for a while, you're doing maybe doing more damage, and then when you do seek it, it's more severe. So um, uh, it's been pretty poorly run from what we could surmise, and so that's one of the reasons that we're thinking about leaving. Um, but you know, we're not going to do anything that uh, hasty. hasty. No, yeah. we put in our letter so that we reserve the right to leave. We were the only municipality that did, by the way. So nobody else got it. I want out. I know you want out. So anyway, this uh, this just lets me negotiate with them. Good. I make um, a motion to uh, authorize the mayor to negotiate with Cortland County regarding workman's compensation issues. Second. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. The next one is um, sidewalks. Sidewalks. Mm -hmm. So we're applying for a really big, well, two sidewalks. Um, we're going to look for, try to get about a million dollars. Um, because when I asked Mike what sidewalks need repair or replacement in the village, his response was all of them. And now I thought he was being flippant. And I drove around and I looked and I thought, he's wow. right, they all need to be replaced. They really are all in bad shape. Yeah. So we're going for a million. We're com trying to combine two different grants. Um, one grant can be used as the match on another grant to a certain extent, so we're sort of looking at that. Uh, basically, this says we're going to try to get a million dollars for the grants and the maximum uh, local match that the village would be required to pay for a million would be 200,000, 20 percent. So then we'd have to decide, you know, how much residents would pay versus how much we would shoulder of that. Um, and also there's a chance that one of the grants will lower that 200000 We're still trying to figure that out. Uh, so we just need to uh, authorize the us to submit that application. I'll make a motion to authorize the mayor to go ahead and start at it. All right. I do Second. Like that. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right, I guess we'll vote then. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. We all love sidewalks. Yeah. An important one with our trees. Uh, did we vote on I already? Yep. No. We did? Yes. 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 All right. Good. All right. Uh, I'm going to back up on this as well. That's, sure. This is the phase one that yes. we talked about. So I'm this is, a, um, we're going to send some village residents a check that says bank error in your favor uh, because they uh, overpaid for a uh, sewer project. So. Phase one. phase one. The phase one sewer, I think there's 60 residents. Right, yeah. 60 to 80 residents. So they're going to get a nice check with a letter from us that says, <coughs> whoops, here's some money. So hopefully they won't be too mad because, you know, it's a check with money. Uh, and just for, for the record, uh, we were advised by, by uh, one of the accounting people, don't give them a refund. Put the money back towards other debt. Which was absolutely a no, a non-starter. Yeah. <laughs> so yes. So I'm not naming names of who uh, who gave that, but they're not in this room anyway. All right. So we just need a motion. I make that motion that we authorize the return uh, of the tax over overpayment for the phase one sewer. All second. Okay. Discussion. All in favor. Aye. 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 I wish I lived in that area. All right. Uh, the next item is uh, authorizing the extension of the term of mayor and trustees from two to four years, uh, which would be in line with the town, and moving the date of the general village election to November, So, which would save the county money and also save a lot of trouble of, you know, knocking on doors and snowstorms. It just makes sense. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, I don't know. We don't need to have a separate election, I, you know, people who are going to pay attention to the village election will pay attention to the village election. I think we'll get a lot better voter turnout. I think we'll get a lot better voter turnout. Yeah, so I'm all for it. 
I'll make the motion. I'll second it. Any discussion? Do you want to read the resolution? Oh, is it it's a resolution? Yes, it is. Read yes. on, please. Read Go on. for it, Dan. I uh, will settle in. It's <laughs> <laughs> a long one. <laughs> Authorizing extension of terms of mayor and all trustees from two to four years and moving the date of the general village elections to be held biennially in odd number years and to coincide with the general election in November as set forth by the Cortland County Board of Elections. Whereas section 3-3025A of the New York Village Law, Village Law provides the Village Board with the authority to extend the term of office of the Village Mayor, the terms of office for all trustees, or the terms of the Office of Mayor and all trustees from two years to four years by adoption, adoption of either a resolution or a local law subject to subject to permissive referendum. And whereas, pursuant to section 3-3025A of the village law, if such resolution or local law shall become effective, the offices, the term or terms of which have been extended shall thereafter be filled for terms of four years, commencing at the beginning of the official year following the next general village election at which such offices are to be filled. No such resolution of local law, however, shall become effective within 30 days prior to a general village election. And whereas Section 3-3027A of the Village Law provides the Village Board with the authority to move the date of the general village election as to be held at the same time as the November general election, biennially in odd number years as set forth by the Portland County Board of Elections, by adoption of either a resolution or local law subject to permissive referendum, and whereas, pursuant to Section 3-3027A of the Village Law, for if such resolution or local law shall become effective, the date of the general village election shall thereafter be held at the same time as the November general election biennially in odd number of years, as set forth by the Portland County Board of Elections, no such resolution or local law, however, shall become effective within 30 days prior to the general village election. And whereas the village board has determined that it is in the best interest of the village of Homer, for the terms of office of the mayor and all the trustees to be extended from two years to four years, and whereas the village board has further determined that it is in the best interest of the village of Homer to extend the terms of the office of the mayor and all trustees from two years to four years by resolution subject to permissive referendum, <coughs> and whereas the village board has determined that it is in the best interest of the village of Homer to move the date of the general village election to coincide with the general election in November biannually in odd number of years as set forth by the Cortland County Board of Elections, <clears throat> and whereas the Village Board has further determined that it is in the best interest of the Village of Homer to move the date of the general village election to coincide with the general election in November by any relief in odd number of years as set forth by Portland County Board of Elections by resolution subject to permissive referendum. And now, therefore, it be resolved that the term of office of the Mayor and all trustees for the Village of Homer shall be extended from two years to four years, and the date of the general village election shall be moved to coincide with the general election in November biennially in odd number of years, as set forth by the Cortland County Board of Elections, and be it further resolved that if this resolution shall become effective, the office of mayor and all the trustees shall thereafter be filled for, for terms of four years, commencing at the beginning of the official year, following the next general village election at which such offices are to be filled, and the general village election will be moved to coincide with the general election in November biennially in odd number of years, as set forth by the Cortland County Board of Elections, and be it further resolved that this resolution shall be subject to permissive referendum pursuant to Article 9 of the Village Law, and shall not take effect until 30 days after its adoption, nor until approved by the affirmative vote of a majority of the qualified electors of the village voting on such a proposition for its approval. If within 30 days after adop adoption of this resolution there be filed with the village clerk a petition signed and acknowledged by electors of the village in number equal to at least 20% of such electors in the village, as shown in the register of electors for the previous general village election, protesting against such act or resolution and requesting that it be submitted to the electors of the village for their approval or disapproval. And it is further resolved that the village clerk shall, within 10 days of the date of the adoption of this resolution, in the official newspaper of the village, post and publish a notice in substantially the form submitted hereto, which shall set forth the date of the adoption of this resolution and contain an abstract of such resolution concisely stating the purpose and effect thereof and indicating that such resolution is subject to a permissive referendum. It is further resolved that the village board hereby authorizes the mayor to take such administrative and ministerial action as may be necessary 
to effectuate the terms of this resolution. Wow. Did you read that back? I didn't quite get one. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody clear on that? Yep. So the uh, long and the short of it is um, if people want to file petitions to push this a permissive referendum, they need to 420 signatures? That's about 450. 450 signatures. So, um, because it's not a, a percentage of all of only those who voted, it's a percentage right. of all eligible electors as of the last election. Got it. So, uh, all right, so we've got the motion in the second. Any other discussion? So, I just want to we discussed this last month, it was in the Homer News. I know I've discussed this with numerous residents, and the feedback's all been positive. Yep. Mostly, it's uh, about time. Yep. Um, you know, my only concern was, you know, you, you were extending from a two-year to four years, so sometimes that, sometimes it's difficult to find people to run for office, and now we're doing it for four years. That was their one concern that, that was expressed to me. And I just want to make sure that we're clear on when the next election is, if this passes. If it passes, will be, uh, the next election will be November of 2019. Those right, that were, exactly. Those who are up in March would go in November. Okay. Yeah, I I think uh, I think the opposite. I think it would encourage more people to run if they knew that they didn't have to spend every other year running. Because that's uh, but uh, so I think it's good. We it lines us up with the town. And uh, so. all right. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Yeah, uh, Tim made it, and Tim can second. Did I second it? Yeah. Right. Oh, thank you. Okay, there you go. Gentlemen from Watch, my second second. Yeah. All right, we got another resolution. This one's much shorter. Um, there is a draft local waterfront revitalization. Uh, Program that was commit that was completed in 2010, but not formally adopted. Really? Yeah. And so, as of I don't know if it's next year or the year after, we cannot apply for grant funding through the LWRP without a formally adopted local plan. So this is simply a resolution that formally adopts the plan. I'll make that resolution. Well, we got the resolution. Got uh, got yeah, another one. To read. I'll read this one, Dan. Hey, thanks. Uh, he he read the bad one. All right, Village of Homer, resolution accepting inclusion in the mighty Teofnioga River local waterfront revitalization program plan update. Whereas the city of Portland, in partnership with 11 associated villages and towns along the Teofnioga River in Portland County, including the Village of Homer, initiated preparation of a local waterfront revitalization program in cooperation with the New York State Department of State in accordance with the provisions of Executive Law Article 42 and, whereas the draft Local Waterfront Revitalization Program, LWRP, was completed in 2010 but was not formally adopted and, whereas the City of Portland wishes to submit an application for preparation for an update and adoption of the Teofnioga River Local Waterfront Revitalization Program plan, now, Therefore, be it resolved that the Village of Homer fully supports the city's application and agrees to partner with the city on the development and adoption of the revised LWRP. Be it further resolved, the Village of Homer commits $2,500 towards the required 25% match of the project. I guess I buried the lead. We have to spend $2,500. But we're going to have to do it if we want to apply for any of this grant funding. I make a motion that we accept the resolution as written. I'll second. Any discussion? This is there. This is what we get our we spend our Verizon money that we get back on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's part of the comprehensive plan. It's part of the issue. That Should have been done a long time ago. Major so, thing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, okay. Now the moment everyone's been waiting for. This right here. The surplus vehicle bid opening. Burr, burr, burr. No, I think we can probably do it. Oh, look at that pocket knife. Look at that Swiss Army. Then you're going to have to open them because that thing looks far too deadly. <laughs> what is this for the people? These are the uh, bids on all the surplus property. 
that we had listed in the Homer News and on the website. So it's all sealed bids. So this one is for the 475 riding lawnmower. And we have a bid of $200. Let's see if we have any others on the riding lawnmower. This one is for the Ford Explorer, and this person has bid $4,708. It's an interesting bid. Curses! <laughs> we don't need to open the blue one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Uh, all right, this one is for the Ford 1995 dump truck, $4,200. Piece of paper and takes me <laughs> This one is for the four boxes of miscellaneous radios, pagers, chargers. 30 bucks. Probably fair price. Uh, get this one open. My wife's going to be so upset. She's probably texting me right now. This is for the Cleese Explorer. His bid is $1,000. That's not going to do it. Unfortunately, this one, not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and so, that's all the bids we have. So, we've got lucky winners. Uh, Yusef Daba of Lake Island, Illinois, has won the Explorer for $4,708, which is... Uh, that's a steal. Is that, uh, we don't have to accept them. We don't have to accept them. We don't have to yeah, accept them. Yes, no, yes, yes, we yes. don't have to accept them, and I would recommend not accepting any of them. Yeah, this this one should go to auction. Yes. Have to sell I want to put price. them all on. Yeah. yeah. I don't auction. think that's a fair price for that. I wouldn't have got it anyway. Shelly couldn't have got it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the $200 for the 475 mower is probably right in line. We should just get rid of that. All right. So we'll accept that one. We will accept the bid from Mike Ellis, who wants the uh, 475 mower for 200 bucks. as okay. is. And the dump truck, 4200 No, Mike? No. That's not okay. Fair, nope. All right. Unfortunately, sorry. Sorry, Tim. And the radios, you don't think? No, I'm going to put them on options in there. We options. should be able to get two or three hundred dollars. Two or three hundred dollars for those? Okay, unfortunately. Sorry about that. Uh, mm -hmm. So we're all losers except Mike Ellis. Well, yeah. I think I went to school with Mike Ellis. I think it was a year ahead of me in high school. Well, there you go. So do we need a motion um, to accept that one bid and then the send the rest to auction? Yeah. Yes. I make a motion that we accept the bid for the 475 riding mower. And that we put the rest of the items up for auction. Auctions International. Auctions, Auctions International. International. Auctions the 475. 200 buckaroonies. Uh, maybe say something of the prices we got weren't reasonable or weren't yeah, the, the, interest, and, so. yeah, the, the prices that we received on the rest of them were not fair market value. No. And by state law, we have to have fair market value. So we cannot accept those as what they are. Is that acceptable? Then? Yeah. yeah. I'll make it in a second. Discussion? I just want to see what we actually get for them. That the Explorer should be worth. worth. I, I think that Explorer should be worth. Double. Yeah, double. Yeah, it should be. I mean, it's 2012. It's yeah. been wrecked, but it's been fixed. Out of so. curiosity, what happens if somebody doesn't pay? Does it go back on to the next uh, bid? At Auctions International? No, for, for example, the mower. If somebody just doesn't come up with the money that is. Were you going to kneecap on. Mike Ellis? <laughs> no, 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 no. Does it does it go back up on the website? People, uh, another announcement for or? Yeah, if, yeah. if, if he doesn't come up with the yeah. money, which okay. I think he wants it pretty much. I don't yeah. think he's a problem. No, I was just so. curious. That's a good question. Not, not, not for well, that item say, in particular. I would say that we would probably just send it to auction with all the rest of it. Auctions okay. International, if, if uh, the final bid is accepted, if he doesn't come up with the money, it goes back on the next highest bidder. Since we only had one bid for this, yeah. you only had one bid, but here, once we put them on Auctions International, there's several people that bid on it, you see who bids on it. All right. Time. Okay. Well, then, uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Aye
Dante, do you have anything for us? Uh, I do. Uh, it's uh, a, a mortgage discharge. Uh, do you, do you want these get... for posterity? No, they didn't accept them. You're going to send them the letter back? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So you don't need to send one to the writer of the blue letter. <laughs> uh, so I'll file that accordingly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he understands. John's right here, Dante. Uh, John, did you happen to talk to the mayor about this mortgage discharge? I left the letter on his desk. Did you see a letter? I didn't. Okay, so just uh, kind of a short story is we got another discharge from Tomar for a mortgage they gave uh, in 2000. Um, it looks like Tom did a bunch of research. They had previously written a discharge and signed it, but they never filed it. Tomar said they had a, received a discharge, yeah. but it would never got recorded. Uh, and it looks like I don't know who was supposed to record it at the time. It was the buyer's attorney. Um, well, <laughs> subsequently, this property is being sold right now, so they're looking for a discharge because we can't really sell a property. Did we discuss like, this one recently? It's a different so mortgage. It's a different, different, different mortgage. mortgage. Yeah. It's yeah. Similar circumstances. That this particular one, uh, the mortgage originated. The payments were supposed to start in what? Uh, Two thousand and yeah. They were only on, they only had the mortgage for like a year, and then the property got transferred. Yeah, in 2003, and the property was transferred, but the discharge was not recorded. But apparently, Toma has a discharge on it. They couldn't find the discharge, but they had a note that said they received the discharge on a given date. So there's no issue, really. I don't believe so. Okay. The mortgage is for eight four thousand dollars 18 years ago, and presumably, but yeah. If you could just sign it and put your name below. Yeah. yeah. So we're not over nothing on this. No, this is well in the area of the area. That's some of these. Throw it high. Yeah. Uh, Anything else? No. Uh, we can talk about the lease and the executive session. We can talk about it now. Uh, yeah, we'll probably better talk about the executive session. Okay. Uh, Thanks, Tom. Uh, real estate stuff. Anything else? No, I have a bunch of papers for Dan um, <laughs> for the land we bought. Uh, the abstract of title and the, the survey. I don't know if we have a place um, for it right. yet, but comments by board members. I know uh, Pat's always got a list. Mm -hmm. I didn't know if I wanted to start or you want somebody else to go. Who else? Is anyone else? You usually the one short. short. I came in with handicap entrance. Beautiful. Working good? Oh, yeah. Excellent. Excellent. We have to come up with some dates. Uh, the fellow from Mike has got back to me. He's going to come down and talk to us all. We can explain to him the additional stuff we'd like to do. What about the next work session? Uh, I, I mentioned that personally. I'd like to do it beforehand. Uh, just to get the ball rolling a little faster. So I, I just told him I'd give him some dates that we could maybe hook up, and then whenever he comes back with, I'll get to you guys so we can. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Is that what's going to be the Let's see. Because so, I'm pretty free for the rest of the month. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next week, I cannot do the 17th because I do have to go to that Mike members thing, hobos. Although, oh, yeah, yeah, I can do that. Uh, I could do Monday the 16th, I could do Wednesday the 18th, I could do Thursday the 19th. Monday the 16th? Yep. Monday, Wednesday, or Thursday. Monday, Wednesday. Whoops, Monday, Wednesday. Thursday. Everybody else okay with those kind of dates? Nail it as, as fast as you can and then yeah. tell Dan because we need to know his system. Exactly. Yep. Yep. I should be able to have a response from him tomorrow. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. So that's all I got. Kevin. Oh, you already did yours. Ed. I'm good. What? All right. You're, <laughs> you're awesome. You're taking care of all the things I'm concerned about. Well, that's good. Pat doesn't think so. I know. <laughs> I'm just looking for your job. I know. It's all right. What do you got, Pat? I see these guys throwing me off. Oh, right. uh, yeah. Uh, attended the uh, town, Homer Town uh, meeting last night, along with, uh, I know you've already discussed the workman's comp issue. Mm -hmm. uh, the bridge updates. Uh, Wall Street uh, has been downgraded from three ton to two ton which means it's going to be closed to vehicular traffic. Uh, Pine, the uh, lenticular bridge on Pine Street, uh, has been uh, deemed not suitable for pedestrian traffic. 
So they're going to be tightening up the closure, the, the closure on uh, the bridge over Pine Street, and they're going to be closing um, the Wall Street bridge to vehicular traffic. So for all our residents that utilize those, uh, it's going to be very shortly. I wouldn't expect uh, much more before next week that they will probably have them closed up, if not sooner. The issue uh, becomes as they, the town had applied for a grant uh, to help us with, uh, to help with the Wall Street. And for those that are new to this conversation, the town actually owns, is responsible for those, is responsible for the maintenance and upkeep of those bridges. Uh, so they applied for a grant, but we're not expecting to hear back from that until uh, September, October. September, October. And even after we hear about it, then it's going to take another year or so. It could take up to two years to get that those bridges, uh, one Wall Street, replaced. Uh, they're exploring some options. Uh, as we know more, we'll pass that along. Uh, they're going to put some no outlet signs up or some dead end signs for that? I'd have to check with John Phelps. He's the one yeah. that's going to... And Mike. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. if you would court, thanks. Um, attended the uh, Family Health Network, that's the new building on 281, uh, the open house, uh, had some really good food. Those are strictly administrative offices for, uh, building and stuff like that. for their whole uh, operation. operation. Um, so very nice, uh, very informative. Uh, they also own quite a bit of the land around there, so they have room for expansion. Uh, themselves, so that's that was great. Uh, Kelly Preston, uh, our legislator, uh, attended the meeting at the town last night. Uh, I've got a copy of the uh, state of the county. Uh, I haven't had a chance to read through it yet, but I'll keep that up for everybody. And they are discussing uh, the issues with the uh, jail. Uh, there's three positions that are opening up, uh, the administrator position, uh, the highway superintendent, and the veterans coordinator. Uh, Actually, have a couple others, too. Yeah. So that was, uh, that was the highlights. Uh, the, I uh, figure I'd let you talk about the sales tax because that's <laughs> just not, that's not fun. That's not fun. Yeah. <laughs> You're out of order! <laughs> oh, Kristen, yeah, absolutely. We're going to get that after the comments are done for you, right? Yep, we'll do it after comments. Are you done with your comments? No, I think it's enough. You sure? Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> back to the sales tax. As I feared, the county has no, I don't know, it's, it boggles my mind. No one can get the actual straight numbers from them as to what our loss is going to be. There are multiple spreadsheets floating around. There's disagreement. People have been giving different ones. Kelly said she's probably seen eight. Uh, we have the one that we believe is the latest, but we're not sure because other people say no. I mean, when they voted on this, they told the city that the city was coming out ahead. According to the spreadsheet, the city loses $352,000 each year. That's not ahead. Um, Fred last night was pretty sure that the town of Homer was only going to lose $33,000. they are going to lose $85,000 according to this spreadsheet. And we are going to lose $69,000. And that's a 2% tax increase. And that's that blows the tax cap right there. Um, and that's just for the first five years. And then we're, it, they're going to take more. So the, this is a 10-year plan. Right? This is 10-year plan. And of course, the biggest issue is, and it's one that uh, Kelly uh, shared in frustration, and I think Linda is there, and I'm sure there are other legislators. Uh, the county hasn't really said what they're going to do with the money yet. They've done this whole thing where they told us it's only going to be used for this, this, and this. You know, a million dollars towards the jail, and... $200,000 for the emergency. $200 for the radio, and then $300,000 towards uh, uh, 
debt reduction? Well, originally, originally, originally yeah. they said it was going to be to uh, shore up the workers' comp fund. Then they said it was going to be debt reduction. The other night they tried to slip in debt and deficit reduction, which means, oh, they're just taking $300,000 from us and using it to balance their budget. So they tabled that. There's still mass confusion. Um, <coughs> oh, did you share yours with them? Yeah. Yeah. You saw it, Kevin, you look, yeah. Is there uh, a time limit or do you have to make a, a final decision? Oh, that's already voted on. We're already stuck with this. We just don't know what the actual numbers are. Right. And we can't get a straight yeah. answer on anybody. That's what, I'm saying. what they're going to use the money for. Yeah, we can't get an actual. That last $300,000. And this was the concern, which was, you know, you're just taking this money to balance your own budget. You're not really, you don't really have a plan for it. And they said, no, 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 we have a plan. No, they don't. They didn't. So, yeah. So it's, uh, each municipality is going to suffer quite a bit. Um, some more than others. I mean, we're, you know, ours is a 2% tax increase. The town of Homer? Yeah, the town of Homer is going to have to increase their taxes. And we pay 44% of that, so not only will the village yeah. ding 2% for our own stuff, but we're going to have to pay more for the town. It's just frustrating it's really that, we, hurt. that we couldn't get the information. And not only couldn't we get it, we, we can't really get it. It's almost a month later. We still can't get the information. I'm even not sure they had. I don't, they don't know what's going on. So anyway. That's the sales tax news, so we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do, if we're going to do cuts across the board, or if we're going to cut one particular thing, or if we're going to just raise taxes. Which well, That's what people elected all of us to work. Yeah. To do that, so. I mean, it takes leadership, and we have it, so we'll do it. I know. So uh, we'll have to figure that out, and then, we, of course, we have to budget for a bigger decline in years to come. Yeah. The next crisis, will, which was going to make our private year plan even more important. But yes. On the positive note, you know, you may recall that they said after the 28 million, one of the plans that was floated <coughs> that anything above and beyond that would just be split between the county and the city. Yeah. That's not. That's not going to happen. So above the 28 million, so everybody purchase your stuff in Portland, so we get the sales tax and everything above that still gets distributed down yeah. to us. Buy local, buy stuff in Cortland, get your gas in Cortland. Crystal is here. She is here, just in the nick of time. Literally. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> we are done except for this. Uh, how did the farmer's market go? It went great today. There was a lot of um, a lot of people that stopped and bought stuff from our vendors. Uh, it was really, good. really good. I'm not sure how much of it had to do with Band. The band, you know, because it was consistent with, you know, the whole time we were there. It was just constant foot traffic. Smiling vendor faces. How many people yeah. do you think were in the area? Uh, Wild guys. Um, I we started the raffle so I could look to get a number, um, but I didn't look at how yeah. many were filled out yet. So but I mean, like. Oh. I was just going to say, you know, I, I always go through and ask the vendors, and I think I think they all made quite a few more sales than they usually do. Excellent. So it was, it was good. And I see that on the vendor list we're getting more, we have even more vendors now. Yeah. So that's good. So you tell it's slow, slow yeah. moving, but we're going. So. Yeah. Today I had, post, I had posted on Facebook, um, a post referencing the band that was tonight, and so that got tons of hits, like because people right. shared it because right. everybody wants to go see Molly right. in the Ed Plaza. They are yeah. very popular. Yeah. My girlfriend just said there's probably about 300 people there. It's, it's, I was going to say. It's packed. Oh, like, I was going to say. Like the music series, it's packed. Oh, it was see? such a good group see, there. See, it was such a good idea to combine it. So this is a good time to tell you I'm over budget by 200 bucks. <laughs> 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 oh, he's good. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny because I was about to, I was about to make a motion to take some more money out of your budget. So, Sam's delivery. Um, one of the things that we talked about in staff meeting that I would like to do is 
authorize a thousand dollars to be used for radio ads to promote the farmers market. Um, if we're gonna, it's gonna have to come out of your budget, act, but we'll fix you later. Um, might I suggest uh, social media advertising? Well, we can do that. Too. That's a good idea too. I so, I did a test uh, yesterday. Put twenty bucks into Facebook advertising, and it blew up. It, it works great, really well. Yeah. So why don't we do? Um, can we do it as a PSA? The issue with that is you have to use a credit card. And we don't have credit cards. Yeah. You, well. Yeah. You'd have to use a personal and get reimbursed for it. Right. Yeah, we just get reimbursed for tax. I don't know if they charge tax. I didn't. No tax. No tax. tax. That's supposed to be tax on average. Right. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. So we could do that, and if uh, if you want me to put it on my card, Kristen, I would for that. So I was thinking, well, what do you think? Thousand for the radio and three hundred for social media, and then three hundred for social media would be for the rest of the year. And then the radio, I think, spread out for the rest of the year. How much uh, radio time is that bias? Radio time is pretty reasonable. I want to say it's nineteen dollars for a thirty-second or a sixty-second spot, something like that. I mean, it's it's a lot of spots. Uh, but we could have John put together a package. I would recommend that we start off lower and then add to it. Okay. Yeah. How about 300 and 300? 300, 300 and 300? Then, then add to it if it starts cooking. We can add to it. Okay. I could live with that. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yep. Yes. So, uh, mm -hmm. motion on the table. Motion on the table. Mm -hmm. Who mm -hmm. made it? I'll I'll there you go. Go. Okay. Second. Okay. Second. All favor? Aye. 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 Okay. If you, Dak, you can help Kristen with the social media booth. Have you ever boosted posts, posts on Facebook? It gives me a little box I can click the boost. It's super easy and you can uh, you can set it by like location and interest and all this stuff. You can really target it. It's kind of neat. So, um, and if you guys need a credit card to put it on, just I'll put it on mine and then I'll be reimbursed. Okay. Um, it's one of those things that's like a slow, you know, you've, you set it for how much you want to spend per day. So, you, you know, so I would just say, you know, you want to advertise on the days, just boost each post. Um, well, I know that somebody stopped today and they said that they stopped simply because they were reminded on Facebook. So, perfect. And I do think a lot of that was that my post got shared a lot because we just it got was a comment uh, from uh, Paula Niederhofer that said that's how she heard about the band tonight was the Facebook post. So, um, farmers market. Um, yes. Perfect. And Kelly Preston Thank wanted you. us to remember that the sales tax numbers are based on 28 million. Could be more or could be less. So if, if we get less sales tax, then it would hurt even more. Uh, Water billing. Oh, you need to make a motion to accept the uh, farmers market report. I make a motion to accept the farmer's market report as written. All second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, water billing report. Water billing went out. It was smooth. Good. I just want to comment. I think this is good that we have this. Um, keeps things on top. Let's residents know that we're listening and yep. that we're addressing these issues. So, Kristen, this is good. Oh. A great job. Great job. Yep. Thank you. Any other discussion? Any questions for anyone? Do we have many? Uh, well, you said we had some issues, but that was mostly because of the yeah, back. The back. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think that that is an issue with um, bills getting lost in the mail and lost. And um, one of the the first thing that we did was we turned the the bills to yellow mm -hmm. so they can stand out more at least in people's homes you know if it makes it to the home so I don't know as far as um, 
you know, if we do the, you know, we had talked about doing the full page, like maybe if it was an envelope, it would be Yeah, I thought we easier. discussed making it a full-size sheet. We, yeah, I, yeah, I would like to do, I would like to make it a full-size sheet. Williamson is, is working on making that for us. Oh, are they? Perfect. And then we can put in a second sheet with just some news updates, like a little newsletter. Yeah. I mean, if we're, we're, we're mailing it. Might as well. Might, might as well. well. Yeah, so there, I, I haven't heard back from her, but when we had met with Peggy, when Peggy came down, um, I had told her that that was an issue and something we were looking at. She said that she's done it for other communities and she'll work on one for us. So right. that's being worked on. And so hopefully, because that was the biggest thing, that's the biggest um calls that we've gotten is that people didn't get their previous bill and so it's two bills this time and so it makes it higher. Um, I make a motion that we accept the water billing report as written. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yes. Okay. okay. All that's left is executive session. Okay. We need uh, to discuss uh, real estate. I make a, a motion that we uh, we move into executive session unless the uh, press has some questions for uh, the mayor. Uh, it's about the payment project, so it might take a while, so we'll just call tomorrow. Okay. okay. You sure? <laughs> uh, yeah, we gave a call today, but I can't remember who Jake called, so we're just going to call until someone answers. You didn't much. call me. Okay. Um, I'll just have him call you tomorrow. So. Okay. All right. All right. Will you be able to get that, um, the... These email to us, though? I'd have to talk to the Yamans. Uh, yeah, Jamie Yamans. I, I, I borrowed those from them last okay. night okay. so we could show them off today. But Do you have a contact for them? Jamie Yamans. Yeah. Yamans yeah. yeah. uh, uh, real, real, real Estate. estate. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. yeah, just call Yamans yeah. Real Estate and ask for Jamie. He'll give you a yeah. Yeah. his cell number is on the website. He's okay. Answer, so. All right. Okay, thank you. Hey, thank you. No one. I make a motion that we go into executive session. Did I already say that? Yeah, to the second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. All right. Executive session.